Here are five quick ways for you to tell good science from bad science. I'm Brian Dunning, and you're watching In Fact. Welcome to the show that gives you the real facts behind popular myths. Tired of nonsense in advertising? Here are five red flags you can look for that characterize bad information masquerading as a sales pitch. Number five, the miracle that's too good to be true. Life is full of complicated problems, so there's always someone selling the miraculously easy solutions we all wish were true. The fact is that complicated problems usually have complicated solutions. History does have examples of simple discoveries that revolutionized our lives. The discovery of fire, the wheel, and penicillin. But far more often than not, claims of easy miracle solutions turn out to be rip-offs or just plain wrong. Number four, based on ancient wisdom. To learn whether or not something works, we don't ask whether the ancient Chinese believed it. We test it. Now, some old ideas, like the use of knives, have stood the test of time. But most, like witchcraft, have been discarded because our knowledge has improved a lot over the millennia. Number three, the all-natural fallacy. Being all-natural doesn't make anything automatically healthy or safe. All natural substances include rattlesnake venom, poison ivy, asbestos, and the bubonic plague bacterium. If the only sales pitch is all natural, stay away. Number two, the suppressed miracle that they don't want you to know. Ever heard that doctors don't want you to know some miracle health secret? Or financial planners hate some guy who invented a miracle get-rich-quick scheme? because it would take away their business if you found out? Well, by this same logic, restaurants don't want to give you the real food, airlines don't want you to actually arrive, and firemen hate people learning about fire safety. It's an absurd and insulting sales pitch. Number one, I know it's true because it worked for me. Support by personal testimonials is the most common indicator of bad information. Personal experiences are a terrible way to learn anything. We're all subject to preconceived expectations, personal biases, even perceptual errors. Only by proper testing, where we control for all of these variables, can we learn whether something actually works, as opposed to working only according to some individual's expectations. A good scientist won't even bother trying a product or scheme himself because he knows that his own personal perception of its effectiveness is practically worthless. Of course, these are just a start, and they're just red flags, not proof. But be on the lookout for these five, and you'll have a great start toward being able to tell the silly from the solid. I'm Brian Dunning, and this has been In Fact. In Fact is made possible by financial support from viewers like you please visit infactvideo.com.